guys so much. Uh, and before I even start, it is Veterans Day. And I want to do a huge shout out. Do we have any veterans or family of veterans here? Will you guys stand up? Woo! Thank you. Thank you. All right. Woo! I appreciate you. And thanks so much to Dan and Carrie. What an amazing event. I've been sitting back there like, oh, this is fabulous. So I'm going to talk to you guys about media today. But before we even get started, I want you guys to close your eyes. And I want you to imagine that it's November 11th, 2020. And you have the exact number of listings, the exact number of leads. Uh, if we've got mortgage people here, the same number of closings. Everything is exactly the same one year from now. Are you happy? And I'm guessing no. <laughs> I heard some no's already. That's why you're here. So what I'm going to share with you, like I said, is PR. Because this is what we figured out. The more visibility you have, the more customers you'll get. The more customers you'll get, the more money you're going to make. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. Right? Yes! Woo! I like it. It's right before lunch. Everyone's fired up. And we're going to do this through the power of publicity. This is so impactful. It has changed my life. I have a lot of clients in the audience. It has changed their lives. And I'm super excited. So this is what we're going to go over today. This is my Get PR Famous Formula. I'm going to teach you step by step. You all have a handout and flip it over because it tells you to write down your aha moments. And studies have shown that if you write things down, you're more inclined to do them. So when you hear it only takes one thing to change your entire business, one media hit, that's all it takes. So I want you to write it down and then I want you to commit to doing it. And I'm going to share with you at the end of all of this how we could work together for less than a cup of Starbucks a day. Who's willing to give up their Starbucks to maybe increase their sales by 20 million next year? Yes, all right, awesome. And this is why we're gonna do this. Richard Branson has gazillions of dollars, right? How much money can he spend on advertising? But he has been quoted as saying that publicity is absolutely critical. A good PR story is infinitely more effective than a full page ad. He gets it. Right? If somebody else tells the world how great Virgin America is, you're more inclined to use it than if he's saying, buy my stuff, give me money. So I always like to start, if you don't, guys don't mind, I'm going to take a few minutes and just tell you what brings me up here. Because I'm not a publicist. I'm not a PR person. I actually double majored in political science in German from Virginia Tech. Any Hokies in the house? <laughs> Woo! Yes, I love it. Awesome. Uh, so I owned a retail store out in Northern Virginia, and I retired, I was 45, and then I had this freak accident and I broke my foot. Anybody been in the big, ugly medical boot before? Awful, right? So we were headed to New York City, fashion capital of the world, and I'm like, I cannot go to New York looking like this. So I'm Googling medical boot fashions, medical boot accessories, and there's nothing on the market. So ding, 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 I've always been an entrepreneur. I say my husband saw the light bulbs on the train, like, oh, here she goes again, here's another business. But this is what I created. Fashion accessories for medical boots. I did everything right. I did the business plan, I did focus groups, everybody loved it. What I didn't realize was I had created a whole new space in the marketplace. So we had mortgaged our house, maxed out all our credit cards, and I was like, oh crap, I don't have any money to promote this. What am I going to do? How do I do this? So I taught myself everything I could about publicity. Because the great thing about publicity is it's free. And in my first year in business, I landed in over 50 media outlets. This was my biggest claim to fame. I landed on the Steve Harvey show and I won his top inventors competition. I won $20,000 when I was dead broke. Game changer, complete game changer. So then I'm always like, how can I recreate this? How do I keep doing this? So you guys all have Google Alerts set, all about the real estate industry, I hope, yes, yes. Uh, so mine are slightly different. I have celebrity broken, celebrity broken foot, because if I can get a celebrity to wear my product, it's gonna be amazing. So one day this picture appears in my inbox. And it says that Diana Ross is coming to sing for the president. And even though she's broken her foot, she's still coming. So you heard some people talking earlier about getting through the gatekeeper. So one Google search, Diana Ross manager. And I get through, and I said, you know, 
poor Miss Ross, I know how she feels, this is awful, I've been there, and she has to sing for the president? Like, I can make her look and feel so much better. So I got through to the manager, and he said, send me an email, I sent the email, and he said, oh, I just forwarded it on to Miss Ross. I'm like, you did not, like, there's no way. <laughs> well, he did, because two hours later, yes, she would love to wear your product, and thank you to my Google Alerts, here she is, where, and it's just that little flower, but that's all it took for me to be able to tell the whole world that Diana Ross wore my product. So then I thought, I wonder if the Steve Harvey show would be interested. Just, you know, hey, you're top inventor, and then Diana Ross wore it when she sang for the president, and this happened. And this happened. <laughs> is it going to work? I'm happy to share this information that Christina's Cast medic designs are seriously taken off. In fact, the one and only Miss Diana Ross recently hurt her foot and was sporting this ugly boot. But thanks to Christina's accessories, Miss Ross was quickly back in diva form. Take a look. <laughs> See that boot right there? Miss Ross got hold to one of Christina's boots and started rocking it. So if the one and only diva, the diva of divas, Miss Diana Ross, can rock it, then you know it's got to be good. Look, I want to wish Christina and Cashmetic continued success. Amazing, right? Would you guys do that for one email? Yes. So this is what I want you all to realize is that that's all it takes. And I keep doing this. I have a regular segment on Good Morning Washington. I'm actually gonna be late tomorrow uh, because I'm doing a segment in the morning in the nine o'clock hour. So I want you guys to think about what is your boot? What makes you different? We're gonna talk about niching in a few minutes, but that's how you're gonna stand out. And it all starts, and, and I didn't know any of the speakers who were here this morning. I thought they were so amazing, but we're just all following in line. We're telling you the same thing, it's your brand. You have to establish a brand. So how many of you all have followed me, know me? I'm always in pink, right? Always, aren't these fabulous? I just have pink pants, I'm usually in a pink dress. Uh, no, but this is so important, people recognize me. They're like, oh yeah, you're the PR lady, you're always in pink. So that's kind of silly, the pink color, but it worked for me. So you all really need to figure out and establish what is your brand? How do you stand out? And every single person in this room can get publicity. Every single one of you, and I'm gonna show you how in a few minutes, uh, because I have found that there is no more powerful way to get exposed to hundreds of thousands, millions of people than television, right? Who wants to pick up the phone and call a million people? Nobody, but one television hit, media hit, that will happen. Radio is the same thing. I just went to a thing at iHeart last week. The numbers are astounding. More people are listening to radio than are doing searches online. I couldn't believe that. And podcasts. When you guys said think about podcasts, is anyone doing a podcast? It's very hard to see the audience. Awesome, uh, you guys are gonna crush it. Podcasting is the thing right now, and I want you to think about being guests on podcasts. Especially if you're a local agent, local podcast, things you can share with people when you go to your listing appointments. Same thing with print. Print, and most print publications are online as well. Forbes magazine gets 27 million unique visits every single month. Well, imagine if you can send your people to those articles. That's powerful, that's impressive. Now, you do have a choice. You could hire a PR firm. Anyone hire a PR firm before? I just met someone back in the speaker's lounge. He's like, yeah, I've done that. I didn't have a lot of results. Most people don't. That's why what I'm gonna share with you and what I'm gonna tell you about at the end, I can teach you how to do this and it's simple. It's so simple and there are people in the room I'm gonna share with you who've had tremendous success. It's how do you stand out? How do you make yourself different? How do you stand out from the crowd? And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. But here's the deal, there is no magic pill. I can't just say, here you go, just swallow this and CNN will call. That won't happen. Are you guys willing to give it maybe 10 minutes a day? What else can you do for 10 minutes a day to get millions of people to learn about you? Anybody? Any ideas? No, nothing, media. And just imagine, and so many of my clients and clients in this room today have had success in less than 30 days. 
Less than 30 days they were in the media. I've even had some in less than seven days. So it's all doable. So I have a three-step process, and it starts with PR. Very first thing, and as I go through this, I want you to think about where are you comfortable. If three or four years ago you had said, Christina, you're going to be on television once or twice a month, and you were going to go all over the country and speak to tens of thousands of people, I was like, there's no way. Absolutely not. I was scared to death. I'm in my basement doing podcasts, like guzzling water between questions, because I was so nervous. So if TV is not your thing now, it might be your thing later. Do you want to freelance? Our articles, there's so much. Somebody else said that earlier. Content, content. We've got to get our content out there. So think about where you're comfortable. And it's really important to know the difference between advertising and PR. You guys probably all advertise. You have to. You're real estate agents, right? But who's dictating that message? You guys are. You're telling the world what you want them to hear. But PR is different. PR is what they called earned media. Besides being free, the cool thing about PR is it's somebody else telling the world how great you are. So this is my favorite analogy to use because we all have, right, we all have Joe's Pizza in our neighborhood. So let's say you're going through the Gazette or the Times and you see the ad, you know, Joe's Pizza, best pizza outside of New York City. And then you flip a few more pages and you see an article that says hidden New York pizza gem. And you read the article and it's written by somebody who came from Brooklyn and who says, I have never had pizza this good outside of the city until I went to Joe's. Which one's gonna make you go to Joe's? Right, the article. I'm making everyone hungry, right? It's close to lunchtime, pizza sounds good. Um, so here it is, this is my proprietary system. You need to be newsworthy, you need to create great hooks, and you need to find the right journalists. And I'm telling you, it is that simple. Learning how to do this, and obviously I have 40 minutes and that's it, so I'm gonna do the best I can and just kinda zip through this. But I do find this with so many people that I work with. How many of you feel like this when I'm talking about pitching the media? Get a little nervous? It's, well, please remember this. The media today is 24-7, 365. It is constant. It used to be the news anchors had writers and editors, and they're doing everything now. So if you can provide good, newsworthy story ideas, they will welcome you into their tribe. I promise you. I do this every single day in my own business. I walk this walk. I am not up here saying, oh, you should do this. I think it's going to work. I know it works. I've been in over 1,000 media outlets. I do the formula every day. And I felt like this. First time I called our local NBC, I was like, um, um, my name is um, Christina Daves. And needless to say, I didn't get on then. But now I'm on regularly. So have a confidence about you when you pitch, because they need your information. They really do. So what is newsworthy? It's timely, it's important, and it's interesting. And there's, then I'm going to go through a bunch of examples to really help you get some ideas on this, because this is what I want for you. I want you to go to your listing appointments with this. You know how impactful that is? How much of an authority you look like? How credible you look? I have so many clients who have gone in, and they've been in so many outlets. They can be like, oh, you have a question about pricing? Oh, here, I was in Realtor.com. Oh, you have a question about this? Here, I was in this publication. You look so powerful. And what is anybody going to do before they work with you? They're going to Google you. Of course they are. So that's the power of this, too. When you ride other, other media outlets' coattails, when they put you into Google, guess what happens? You come up. And it's like, you know, Wall Street Journal, Huffington Post, USA Today. So a couple years ago, if you had put Christina Daves into Google, Christina Aguilera came up because she owned all that Google juice on the name Christina. Well, now, last time I checked, I am 14 pages of Google. And I'll tell you, since the real estate crowd, you guys will totally understand this. I had this great idea to work with PenFed Credit Union, right, $40 billion credit union. And I'll kind of try anything, so I emailed the president. You know, hi, James, I'd love to meet you. I have this great idea. He emailed me back within an hour and said, can you be in my office on Friday? Like, Okay, so I go to Tyson's penthouse, beautiful, you know, it's overlooking DC, and, and I'm in there, I'm really nervous, and he comes in and he said, do you know what happens when you Google you? That's why I got the meeting, guys. That's why you're gonna get the listing appointments. When these people Google you and they see all of this, James Shank wanted to know who this woman was in his backyard who was loaded up on Google, all these media outlets. So that's what I want for you guys to do. 
So what do you, you need to be newsworthy. I want you to think outside of the box and beyond the box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you all some examples of different things that you can do to make yourself newsworthy. And think, and if you have that aha moment, write it down, it's so important. So the first one are nonprofits. You know, so many people are so passionate about their nonprofits, but what you don't think about is that other people who are passionate about those nonprofits are probably gonna wanna work with you. One of my clients uh, lost a son to suicide and she's incredibly, incredibly involved in a big suicide walk, and, and we've gotten some media for her because of that. Um, but imagine other people who have gone through that. Who do you think they're gonna to wanna to work with? So we're not selling her, and she's not doing this to get clients. This is not by any means. But what I want you to understand is you relate to like-minded people when you're very involved with a charity. I have another agent who used to be a real estate agent who used to be an FBI agent, suffered horrible PTSD, and she's very involved in the Code 9 project. So imagine any first responders, firefighters, police officers, FBI agents who understand PTSD, who do you think they're gonna wanna work with? So think about what you're passionate about and what you give back to and again, this is not to get business because you, you're joining a nonprofit. It's what you truly are passionate about and believe in, but know that you will attract like-minded people. The next thing is, how can you collaborate? This is a client of mine, um, and I don't even know if he's here, Cedric Stewart Keller Williams in, in Rockville, but he was brilliant. He collaborated with a builder, and they did a big scavenger hunt, and whoever won the scavenger hunt got part of their down payments paid for and they got this article in the Washington Post. If they, if they had run an ad about the scavenger hunt, wouldn't have been as impactful, right? But when you read something like this, it's like, oh, that's pretty cool, that's fun. The next thing I want you to think about is celebrity. I told you about Diana Ross, celebrity sells. If you can tie anything into a celebrity, so Naomi was a former client of mine, and I remember when she called and she's like, oh, I got Linda, Linda Hamilton's listing. Remember Linda Hamilton and Terminator just came back out again. She was so excited, and I said, well, you gotta call the post, like tell them, and she said, I can't do that. I said, I want you to call Linda and tell her what you're gonna do, and then tell her, if we get an article in the post, 1.8 million people are gonna see your listing. What do you think Linda said? Of course she said yes, why not? So Naomi sold Linda's house. I mean, she's listing it, she's selling it, she's trying to get out of town. Sold her house, got a buyer that day for another farm, then all the Loudoun County papers picked it up and it just steamrolled. And she actually moved to Ohio and I talked to her, I don't know, probably about a month ago, and she was planning a big, you know, resending this out with the launch of the new movie of Terminator. So think about anything you can tie in to celebrity with your properties. Maybe a movie was filmed there. Maybe anything related, like I said, celebrity sales. And it doesn't have to be the past owner. You can go way back, that's fine. If something happened, oh, 50 years ago, Frank Sinatra had dinner in this you know, dining room, that's great, you can do that. So get creative with your listings. The next thing is know your history of your property. Super important, this was um, a property that, and I don't know, is Tara Houston here in the house? No, nope, checking, okay. Uh, so Tara has had this listing. This was one of the original hotels outside of Washington DC in Burke. But what we got publicity for is who knew that back in the day all the restrooms were only off the bedrooms. So if you had company that came, they'd have to go through your bedroom to use the restroom. Well this home had what's called a pint-sized bathroom and just that little space like under the stairs and I think there's only a hundred of them left in the country. So that's what we did to get, this made the front page of the Washington Post. And then the next thing is uh, non-traditional holidays. Well, traditional holidays or non-traditional holidays. I actually got on Fox for the first time for National Healthy Foot Month. Yes, it really exists. You can Google it, it's in April. Uh, but what Lizzie Conroy did, and I don't know if Lizzie's here, I haven't seen her, but I love this. Last Halloween, she pitched CBS, do you have to disclose if a house is haunted or if a murder took place there? And they did it on Halloween and she wore a witch's hat. It was awesome. So what can you tie into holidays? It's just getting creative. And the more you do this and the more it's muscle memory. And then the last one is I want you to monitor social media. Um, so this is Susan, she's actually a home stager. Do you have any other home stagers here? 
No, she jumped on this story. She was on Twitter, and she saw Channel 4 was looking for a house in Arlington to talk about the Amazon HQ2, and she had just staged a home. Got on the phone, I've got it for you, I can be there at 4 o'clock. They changed the story a little bit about how many homes she was now staging because so many homes were going on the market because of Amazon HQ2. Uh, and, and she's one of my star pupils. She texted me and said, I won't see you this morning, um, and it's all your fault, dot, dot, dot. And I was like, oh, what did I do? Uh, she actually was filming um, WUSA this morning, a whole segment on a home ambush makeover for a veteran. So how cool is that, right? I love this. But these are people, media begets media. The more you start doing it, the more they're going to want to use you again and again. Okay, and the last thing is niching. What is your red target? How, you're all realtors, but what is that thing? And I know I've trained thousands of real estate agents. I know you're scared to death to do this, but it's so important, and I promise you, you will get so much more business if you're willing to do it. I know you can sell homes to anybody, but when your messaging and your branding and your media starts narrowing down, uh, so anyone from Tampa, Florida, originally? Okay. Did you know that it has the most nudist communities of anywhere in the United States? <laughs> no. Who? Our best friend's kids go to University of Tampa. I've had a lot of fun since I've learned this. So there is a, a Keller Williams agent in Tampa, Florida, a woman named Jackie Youngblood. And she started out like everybody starts out, and she's j just starting real estate. She's making forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year. Well, it turns out that Jackie lives in one of these communities. So Jackie got really smart and said, hmm, okay, I'm gonna niche down and I'm gonna be the realtor of all these places. Just for a second, imagine the listing appointment. I don't know how that's gonna go, but. So Jackie, she can still sell anyone a house, right? But she gets, again, just relating to these people. She is the number one team in the state of Florida and they do high seven figures all because she dubbed herself the naked realtor, uh, and she got a reality show out of it. So that's, that is the power of this. She went from 40,000 <laughs> to seven figures. So don't be afraid. Um, and I know that Dustin Fox is here, and he did exactly that. Uh, and I, I love, his story is one of my favorites because he was a brand new agent, and he, so five ways to use social media to help sell your home. That's his niche, that's what he does better than anybody. He'll walk in and he's like, I'm gonna sell your house using Facebook ads. And the people are like, oh no, you're not. He's like, well, let me show you my article from the Washington Post. And that's how he wins his listings. And I see Dustin all the time, I'm like, Dustin, have, what else have you done? Like, that was such a great article. He's like, Christina, I don't need to do anything else. That's the only thing I need, right there. So you guys, one article, and when this was, does it say on there, 20, well, it was two years ago, December. Two years ago, one article. You guys willing to make one article really, really good? That's all you need. So just remember, at the end of the day, it's value. You have to provide value to that end user. Whoever's reading the newspaper, whoever's watching the television show, what value can you provide? Did you guys get some ideas on Newsworthy? Anybody, you ready to start pitching? Okay, awesome. Good, so now we're gonna do the next step. So you got it. I hope you wrote down your aha moment. The next thing is creating great hooks. That's the subject line, right? Imagine journalists get hundreds of emails. So this is so easy. This is gonna be like the shortest little lesson. The next two are magazine covers. Where do we buy our magazines? Grocery store, impulse purchase, right? The last one I bought was $7. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> but I bought it because of the hooks on the front of the magazine. Look at hooks, Google them. AARP, now that I get it, is really good at hooks. Um, but they really are, like Google AARP magazine covers. Do not copy it exactly. I'm always afraid someone's gonna say, well, I was at this conference and Christina Daves was on stage and said, I should just copy headlines. Don't copy them. You could just change them around a little bit. And then the next thing is think about television. When they say coming up next, what is that, to, right? You, they want you to stay through the ads because those are their sponsors, so they're gonna give you a really good hook. That's it. Magazine covers and coming up next, and now you're gonna hear it on TV all the time, you're like, 
oh, yeah, that's what she was saying. That, that's it. And it's muscle memory. The more you practice it, the better you get. I'm not great at content, but I'm really good at figuring out hooks now. It's just, and I use magazine covers. Same thing. So just practice what I preach. Just try it. Here's when I was in Inman a couple months ago. Super excited. I finally got in. But how can media make you the go-to local expert? And that's what every single one of you here wants to be. And every single one of you can be in that different niche, in whatever you're doing. That's what I'm saying. Every person in this room has the ability to do it. You just have to learn the steps. I mean, I'm giving you a broad overview, but when we narrow it down and I can show you exactly how to do it, it really is simple. Um, and the last step is finding the right journalist. And everybody write this down. It's my top secret resource for finding any journalist. Google. Google is a question search engine. Who writes about real estate for Inside Nova? Who writes about real estate for the Fairfax Times? And it's really that easy. And they will usually give you everything where it's pre-populated, so you just have to click on the email and it puts their email up. And they're gonna give you a phone number. Write that phone number down. 90% of my success is that follow-up. So make sure you do that one follow-up phone call after you pitch the media. And if you wanna see how well this works, I'm gonna go back to Dustin, who got $5 million plus listings in six weeks. Who would like that? One article. And he's done, where are, what are you doing, Justin? 25 million a year at least? I know he's here somewhere. Anyway, he was here, I saw him earlier. But as a brand new agent, I think he did 24 million his first year from this article. So don't say, oh, I'm new, I can't, you can. You really can, with one article, that's all it takes. Um, and I'm not sure if Casey's here, but another one, Casey Sampson, he was brilliant at learning hashtags. He figured that out. I don't think Casey lost a listing in a year because he got so good at this. And then we helped him put together a Facebook Live, a show, a TV show that you can have on Facebook. Somebody was talking about that earlier. It's so easy now to do all these things. And he's just growing his business, $20 million a year, from implementing a few things. So this is, I get so excited about this because it works. I mean, it really does. And I know there are a lot of coaches out there who are like, oh, cold call. If one more person cold calls me and says my neighbor wanted them to call me because they just sold their house, I'm like, no, I know them. I know they did not give you my phone number. And it's the same script from all different people. So I want to give you an option of something that's super fun and easy to do with tremendous, tremendous results. Um, I talked about Cedric. This is one of his biggest hits. It was so awesome. Women's Health Magazine. I think the circulation is two million, and this whole article was about how stressful selling your house can be when you have young children. So imagine when Cedric goes in, and it's a young family, and he's like, oh, read my article in Women's Health Magazine. I'm gonna hold your hand every step of the way. I'm gonna take all the pressure off. Do you think Cedric loses many listings, especially with young families? He does not. So that's the power of this. Use that, and you have to learn how to use it. That's one of the things I teach you too, is how do you use it to be impactful? And think of how much money you're leaving on the table by not doing this, right? I've shared a couple of people in the room who are doing it. It's phenomenal, and it doesn't take a lot of time. So how do you guys feel about PR? You guys ready? You can do it? Yes. Awesome. That's step one. Now imagine you have all this PR and you put it out on social media. And then you're tagging the Wall Street Journal or USA Today or even your local papers, whatever that is, and then they're sharing it with their audience. There is no bigger megaphone than social media, period. And some people were talking about that earlier. You've got to learn how to use it. Be good on one platform. And I don't have time to dive into really deep in this whole section. Um, but I will share other ways in which I can help you with that. It doesn't have to be this overwhelming thing. When I tell you 10 minutes a day, I'm not kidding. And it's actually less than 10 minutes a day. But I want it to be a realistic number as you're getting started. And then the last piece is using them together. PR and social media together, it's where the magic happens. When I told you guys I got on Fox for the first time for National Healthy Foot Month, I tweeted at Laura Evans. I was like, oh, I love that story you did tonight. And she said, oh, well, if you know of any other products, let me know. I'm like, oh, a matter of fact, I do. But then I had to come up with the hook, with the pitch. Uh, she liked my product, but she's like, how am I going to do this? You know, you have to do the work. You have to come up with it. 
And this is one of my favorite, favorite real estate success stories. I teach a hack on how you use LinkedIn after you've pitched a journalist. And Aaron is an agent, a Coldwell Banker agent, I think out in Seattle. And he followed the system. Well, what happened was she had already found someone for her article. And then she said, oh, but um, I'm doing a story for NBC Nightly News. And uh, would you like to be the featured guest on that? And this is not WRC. This is like Lester Holt. You know, like millions and millions of viewers. So imagine the whole thing was about pricing. So, and I know your sellers probably never argue with you about the price of their home. Uh, but if Aaron happens to have that now, he can pull out his iPad and say, hey, but you know, I just did this segment on NBC Nightly News and it's all about pricing and how my listings sell in like less than two weeks because I'm the king of pricing. How much credibility do you think that gave him? Right? You guys getting this? Like, it's so powerful, and it doesn't, it's just not hard. It's simple, and it just takes a little bit of time to learn how to do it. But I am asked all the time why in the world I do this. I had this boot business, like, why are you doing PR now and helping people? Because of this. I know what this has done for my business. It's transformed it. The people that I've worked with transform their businesses completely. I'm super excited about this. I never, I never calculated it. I never did ROI until last year. And this is just the people who responded to me last year. Over 873 million views and over eight figures in sales. I want all of you to be a part of those numbers in 2020. I'm an, and we've hit over a billion because I've been doing this for seven years. But isn't that amazing that you could say that many people learned about your business through media? Here's the deal. Albert Einstein said it best. Insanity, the definition of insanity, is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So I want you guys on TV and news and in print. And I want you guys next year, on November 11th, 2020, to be like, I crushed it. I've been everywhere. Like, I have so much new business. And remember, you could hire that PR firm, 10 to $30,000, that's three to six months, and the fine print does say they do not guarantee results. And guess what? That is just to pitch the media. That's no social media. That's not what do you do with it once you get that. Imagine what one media hit would do for your business. Casey said, we all need to know how to do this. It's very powerful stuff. It's the way of the future. It's changed the way we do business. And let me tell you guys, the winners are the people who are learning how to do this. Doesn't matter how good of an agent you are, if you're not projecting yourself out there like you are the best online, somebody else will. Uh, and then Bonnie said, when I came across Christina's program, I truly thought that I had hit the mother load out of all the programs I have bought and the thousands of dollars I have spent. Her program is the best value I have ever received. Remember, nothing I've shared with you is theory, nothing. I do this every single day in my business, and then I share with you all the great things that I've learned that work. Um, so that's the formula. I want to teach you how to get more visibility. I promise you it's simple. You'll have access to me. I want to help you. Um, I have clients who come back years later, and they're like, Christine, I have this idea. What do you think? And I, I just want to help you and serve you because I know what this will do for your business. Um, so Pat said, Christina, you've opened up a whole new world for me. Thank you. Uh, we did a little newsjacking, which you'll learn about, and got her a big, huge article, front page of the Washington Post. So I want you guys to get PR Famous now. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Hyper Fat Show. Subscribe to us if you want to make sure you get the latest and greatest Hyper Fat Shows. And remember, we love reviews. Reviews help us bring better and better guests and improve our shows. So give us the good, the bad, and the ugly. We hope you enjoyed the show, and we will see you next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, hit that like button, leave us some comments. We want to know your feedback and share this with someone that you think could benefit as well. And if you want to see more great videos, click this playlist up here, or better yet, click right here to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our updates.